CBS2 and the Wyland Foundation are teaming up for Earth Month. Take part in simple home projects or the Wyland National Mayor's Challenge for water conservation. Go to mywaterpledge.com to get started. I am Trevor. Killer performances, the hottest shows, and blinding star power. Find Start TV on broadcast channel 2.2 and on these providers. A new Ghosts, Thursday, 9, 8 central on CBS. Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is CBS 2 News This Morning at 5. Good morning, everybody. It is Hump Day, Wednesday, April 20th. Welcome to CBS 2 News This Morning at 5 and streaming on CBS News Los Angeles. I'm DeMarco Morgan. Glad to have you back well, today. It's good to be back with you. You know that. <laughs> I'm Suzanne Marquez. There's a lot going on in your world today. Let's take a look at your SoCal eye opener. We start with a serious story. A deadly shooting in Long Beach. The man is killed in, on a Dog Beach parking lot. What police say about the suspects this morning? Oh yeah, we don't have to wear a mask on the bus. Lifting mask mandates. LA Metro is now following suit. The latest changes for riders this morning. That's a whole different level of fighting, a whole different type of fighting. And a full-scale attack in Ukraine. Russia changes focus to the Donbas region and how the U.S. is adding more resources. It was bound to happen at some point, and that road needs to be made safer. New calls for safety in Griffith Park. How advocates will honor a cyclist killed in a hit and run today. But first, let's check in out with Emberly for a look at your hot day forecast. And again, it was beautiful. It's starting to cool down, and you yeah, can appreciate it's pretty. it. Pretty surely. So it's not like a, all at once cool down. It's kind of right. like a we're gradually easing into this <laughs> cooler weather. So it definitely feels more like spring here in the Southland, and that's because we're waiting for this late season storm to bring more moisture to the area. Boy, do we need it. So here's a look at our day part this morning. Grab the jackets and then slowly but surely the clouds that are overhead will gradually start to clear. We'll have partly cloudy skies, uh, but you can see what's happening right now here in Southern California. We do have a high. Oh, actually, the wind advisories expired already. We had some gustier winds over our high desert communities, but it just expired. So we are advisory free once again, but our temperatures today, you can see only really warming up to the mid to upper 60s for the beaches and for the metro areas, low 70s for the valleys, the Inland Empire and the high deserts upper 50s for the mountains. I will have the timeline on when we can expect rain moving into your neighborhood coming up. Back to you guys. Amber, thank you. Let's go to your time saver traffic this Wednesday morning and take a look at the 22 freeway at Beach Boulevard in Westminster. Traffic is flowing smoothly. We have breaking news this morning. A shooting investigation is underway in Long Beach. Yeah, a man was found dead at a parking lot near the beach. CBS 2's Cara Finchdom is live at the scene with what investigators are seeing this morning. Cara, good morning to you. Good morning, Jamaka. This is a busy area. There are businesses, apartment buildings all around Rosie's Dog Beach here, and it looks like a man was shot, left to die here in the parking lot. Investigators just cleared out, but they were focused in this area right around parking uh, spot 276 there, and you can still see some of the glass. Uh, this is where detectives wrapped up their investigation, really just within the last 10, 15 minutes. All right, take a look. Long Beach PD tells us they got a call reporting a shooting at this beach at about 10.30 last night. They they say when they pulled up, they found a man who'd been wounded. He was lying next to a silver sedan, and you can see all the evidence markers around that shattered glass. Uh, also, what appears to be a number of bullet casings. Officers immediately started doing CPR. Paramedics rushed out. Sadly, though, they were unable to save this man's life. We do know that detectives spent hours overnight talking with people in the area, possible witnesses. Uh, and earlier this morning, we did see two cars being towed away by police. One of them, that silver sedan with what appears to be a blown out window. Long Beach PD has not yet released any information about a possible suspect or suspects or what they think may have motivated this deadly shooting. Back here live, Rosie's Dog Beach is a four acre stretch here where dogs can go off leash at certain times of the day. Very popular spot. Uh, the dog zone, though, closes at eight hours before this all took place. But it is a big parking lot, a very popular area. Uh, and there definitely were uh, people around here last night as this was all taking place. So we'll keep you updated as we get more information from police. Again, they have cleared out. At this point, they've just confirmed one man shot and killed here last night. DeMarco, so, Suzanne. So unfortunate. Cara, thank you very much for that update there. There are growing calls for safety changes in Griffith Park. Yeah, this afternoon.